The decision to allow Ukraine to use long-range Western missiles against Russia, most likely, has already been made, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov claimed Wednesday. In a conference call with journalists, Peskov said that assumption could be made with a high degree of probability. Peskov's remarks coincided with a joint visit to Kiev by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and British Foreign Secretary David Lammy on Wednesday. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia and is expected to press harder for permission during Blinken and Lamy's visit. On Tuesday, the United States and Britain formally accused Iran of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Russia to use against Ukraine, announcing new sanctions on both Moscow and Tehran. Blinken accused Iran of providing Russia with FATH, 360 short-range ballistic missiles, calling the move a dramatic escalation. Peskov said the accusations were groundless. We hear a lot of talk about some kind of arms deliveries to the Russian Federation. They all have no basis. We are developing our own relations with a number of countries. We cooperate in a variety of areas, and we will continue this cooperation in the interests of our countries, he said. A part of the Corolla Bridge, one of four crossing the Elba River in downtown Dresden, has partially collapsed. The pedestrian and cycle path, as well as the local tram tracks have been affected, according to the Dresden Fire Department. There is an acute danger to life on and under the bridge. For this reason, the entire area has been cordoned off, Michael Klar, spokesperson for the Dresden Fire Department, said. He said the 100-meter-long bridge is still in danger of further collapse and two district heating pipes were damaged, causing the hot water supply to completely stop in the eastern city of Dresden. Gegenwärtig ist die Lage so, dass die Brücke nach wie vor akut einsturzgefährdet ist. Zumindest ist der Bereich, der hier zum Teil in der Elbe zum Liegen gekommen ist. Es besteht akute Lebensgefahr auf und unter der Brücke. Aus diesem Grund ist der gesamte Bereich weiträumig gesperrt. Und
Darüber hinaus haben wir aufgrund des Berstens von zwei großen Fernwärmeleitungen das Problem, dass in der gesamten Landeshauptstadt Dresden die Versorgung mit Warmwasser komplett zum Erliegen gekommen ist.